The TZ2220, what's this pack used for? Well, it's a really good all day day pack. Could you use it for an overnighter? Yes, you could. The number one choice in, in, in what this pack is designed for is a typical day hunt where you leave in the morning, you come back late at the day. In all the high stress areas, we use the Dyneema material. And, and Dyneema is light enough to float on water and yet 15 times stronger than steel. On our materials for the, for the Tricos, we use a, a single layer Trico and we put a waterproof backing on it. On our packs, we use Duraflex buckles. Um, we feel that it's very critical that the buckles hold up and they're strong. There are, there are lighter weight buckles out there. Lighter doesn't always mean better. What we have to know that we can count on is a buckle. We can't have buckle failure. So all Duraflex buckles, nylon webbings, nice EVA molded shoulder straps, a nice airflow system back here in the back, one aluminum stay that is fluted so it's nice and rigid, and then it's got additional pockets right here on the outside so you can carry a, a spotting scope or a tripod and then these pockets stretch in so you can use these pockets to the main compartment from both sides. It's got compression straps on the bottom so you could add that to it and then down here on the front we have the hipping pockets and they move away so that you can get them when they're full of stuff. You can still access them and then after you do you can pull them back in tight. All the main pockets on all the Tenzing packs always have a yellow zipper tooth and a yellow pull. In this case, you can see this is a face pocket. It has a brown pull. This is going to take me to my organizer pockets. So I know the difference in the face pocket versus the main pocket. So on our zippers, what we did was we turned the teeth all to the inside. They're very smooth, very easy to get in and out of. Their dirt stays out. They're very water resistant and they do a much better job being reversed. The TZ2220, as well as the 5000, the 6000, several of the packs in the line, come set up so that you can carry some kind of reservoir in there. And you can carry either 2 liter or 3 liter water with you. Down here we have a bow and rifle pocket. And so you can undo that zipper and pull a pocket out here. And if you're using your bow, your cam is going to sit right down in here. It adjusts up and down vertically, so you can adjust it to the height of the bow, depending on the length of your bow. And then what you would do is you simply take this strap loose here, same with this one over here. It's going to come around the pack and it's going to hook around the bow or the rifle and it's going to pull it back in tight. Also on this pack we have another pocket on the inside. When you unzip it and reach up in there you can pull out a full raincoat. Cover up the pack. If you're in a big, big torrential downpour you can keep this pack nice and dry and so the water never gets to the inside of the pack. TZ2220, uh, it's a super lightweight day pack. It's uh, probably the number one choice across the nation.